Hey everybody, this is the Platinum Knight here with another Double First Impressions video. And today's Double First Impressions is going to be Thanksgiving and Silent Night. Before I talk about these movies, there is a special reason why I'm talking about both of these films together. That is because my friend somehow managed to get free advanced screenings for both of these movies for him him, me, and my uncle. For those who don't know what an advanced screening is, it's just seeing a film a few weeks early before the official release date, and supposedly seeing it first in theater. This isn't the first advanced screening I have been to. Me and my uncle got one for Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, but I didn't really record much of it. So for the first film I'm gonna talk about is Eli Ross Thanksgiving. Based on a made-up trailer from Grindhouse, this isn't the first time a film was adapted from one of these parody trailers. The same thing happened with Machete and Hobo with a Shotgun. Ever since both Planet Terror and Death Proof released, there's always been rumors and talks Eli Roth of wanting to make Thanksgiving into a full-length movie. And for the longest time, many people were convinced it would never happen. That is, until today. And what are my thoughts on the movie? It's awesome. Think of Scream meets Friday the 13th. It's a cool slasher flick with a sense of twisted humor while surrounded in mystery. The kills are gruesome and hilarious. It's got some decent action and suspense. If you've seen Cabin Fever or Hostel, you should know what to expect. What makes this slasher flick slightly stand out from the rest is because there's really not that many horror films that revolve around Thanksgiving. Although there have been horror movies that are Thanksgiving themed, but nowhere near as big of a budget compared to Eli Roth's film. We've gotten so many horror movies based on Halloween and Christmas, so it really was refreshing to see a Thanksgiving horror flick. Me and my uncle have been begging for this movie to be made, so I'm pretty sure some of you can imagine our excitement. When we got to the Arrow Theater, and while we were standing outside in line in the freezing cold, they made us sign consent forms to film our reactions. Some of you may have saw me in a trailer, we got two choices of souvenirs, a headband or a mask. I decided to go with a headband that looks like corn on the cob handles in your ears. After we saw the movie, Eli Roth came out on stage to do a surprise interview, which I uploaded on this channel. However, while I was recording, I had a vicious security guard eyeballing me a lot, even though it was was okay to record. Overall, I had a blast that night, and it was nice going to another advanced screening in such a long time. As much as I had fun watching Thanksgiving, I do have some criticisms. One being having certain plot points by making a certain character seemingly out to be the killer, but it really doesn't amount to anything. Act 1 and 2 would have to be the strong Longest part of the movie, but by Act 3, that's when the movie quickly falls apart. Without spoiling anything, when the killer finally is revealed, I got this sense of disappointment to where I said to myself, there is no way this character could have gotten there that fast. I guess another complaint I have is, unfortunately, not every scene from the parody trailer made it into the full movie. For an example, the investigation scene did not make it. You know, the one where the detectives go, it's blood, and the 
other detective goes, Son of a bitch. Nor did the couples making out at night in the woods made it either, but the scenes that did make it was very appreciative. Oh, and let me tell you, when the trampoline scene appeared, everybody was clapping and shouting. Now that is what you call being a fan. Even with that being said, I still like this movie. It's a fun, cheesy slasher flick. And for those of you who enjoy campy horror movies, then I recommend you check this out. Now I would really like to see Werewolf Women of the SS and Don't Be Made Into Full Movies. But until then, I am very happy with Thanksgiving. The next movie I'm gonna talk about is Silent Night. Like I said earlier, we went to Arrow Theater again to see this movie. It honestly felt like deja vu. Only this time we didn't sign any consent forms, and there were no cameras recording our reaction this time around. We knew John Woo was gonna be there, but what surprised me and my friends is both John Woo, and the whole cast ended up showing up on stage. That was pretty cool. For those who don't know who John Woo is, he is a famous director, most notably for The Killer, Hard Boiled, and A Better Tomorrow, and so on. What makes Silent Night unique is seeing his return to movie making here in America after 20 years. Seeing how he's mainly a Hong Kong director. And what are my thoughts on Silent Night? I like it. Think of John Wick, but if it was a little bit more realistic, and if there was no lines. John Woo goes with a more of a experimental approach by having no dialogue. It's about a man who sadly loses his son by a drive-by, and loses his voice by a gang leader, and the rest of the film is just him trying to get his revenge. I I've seen a lot of people criticizing this film because of how goofy it is. While I do admit, it does have its awkward moments. However, the rest of the film is still pretty awesome. I like the training montage. The male lead literally goes on YouTube to learn how to fight. The action scenes are still well done. We get some good fist fights, decent car chases, and awesome gun battles. While this may not exactly be the best action movie I have seen, and I can understand some people's disappointment, especially from a longtime director, but you at least got to admit, for a film with no dialogue, that's impressive. And while yes, you can still point out other movies like The Artist did a better job, but for an action film, I really, really enjoyed myself. It's a really decent popcorn flick. I'd say both Thanksgiving and Silent Night are special in their own ways, bringing this old school feel to modern cinema. I enjoyed watching them, and I am very grateful that I was even able to get an advanced screenings to both of these films, and I recommend you check them out. Alright everybody, that's it for this double first impressions video. That's it for my first impressions on Thanksgiving and Silent Night. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give me a like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for new videos, and peace out everybody!